everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts if you want to upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. We are going to be mostly talking about Johto Tour and other things throughout this video. We're going to start with what we know about Johto Tour. We are getting the following if you had paid for the ticket. Special research, which will get you a guaranteed free shiny Gyarados and Celebi with Magical Leaf. And of course, after completing that special research, will be the Masterwork Research, which will reward you with Apex Shiny Lugia and Apex Shiny Ho-Oh. And of course, depending on which ticket you went with, whether it be gold or silver, if you went with gold, you get a Ho-Oh shirt. If you went with silver, you will get a Lugia shirt. And of course, as for the details about this special research, I heard rumors and leaks from YouTubers such as Pope, uh, Pokey Daxi mentioning that you would have the option to choose one of the three Johto starters, whether it be Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile, to have as your buddy. And of course, the option to also turn off the random trainers that appeared on the map as a result of feedback from last year with Kanto Tour. This information is also mentioned in Poke Pokedaxi's videos as well as Trainer Tips' newest video. And regardless of what version you choose, if you went with that version, some of the shinies such as say ho -Oh, you'll have an increased chance of it being shiny or with silver Lugia for example but of course no matter what version you have you're gonna get all the Johto starters and if you evolve Eevee into Espeon or Umbreon without walking them during this event. Both will get the move Last Resort, which was originally part of the first Eevee Community Day. Now, if you evolve Bayleaf into Magnegium, it will get Frenzy Plant. For Quillava into Typlosion, Blast Burn. For Croconaw into Feraligator, Hydro Cannon. These moves were originally part of Bayleaf and Cyndaquil Community Days from 2018 and Totodile Community Day from 2019. If you evolve Flaffy into Ampharos, you will get Dragon Pulse, which of course was originally from Marie Community Day in 2018. And of course, Skip Loom into Jump Club with Acrobatics, which was part of the recent Hop It Community Day that happened this month. And of course, Swine Up. If you evolve Pile of Swine into Mamo Swine, it will learn Ancient Power from 2019's Swine Up Community Day. Evolve a Pupitar into Tarantar and it'll learn Smackdown from 2018's Larvitar Community Day. Trainers will be able to complete up to six special trades during the event. You'll also be hearing tracks inspired from Gen 2 composed by Jujenti Musada.
who also composed the original tracks in the original versions of Gen 2, respectively, gold and silver versions for the Game Boy Color. And then the day after, words, the live Canto Tour events in Mexico and Taiwan will be ongoing. But of course, I also forgot to mention that Kanto Pokemon with Johto Evolutions or Johto Pre-Evolutions with Kanto Evolutions will also be available during this event. And of course, you have from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. all day to complete the collection challenges. And of course, you can complete the timed the special research anytime. In other Pokemon news, also announced this week, there will be a collaboration with the Pokemon Air Adventures, which of course is a Japanese flight that will take you to Okinawa. And of course, you'll be able to get Pikachu wearing a Okinawan shirt as well as Corsola. Of course, Corsola will also be available as a shiny starting with Johto Tour. But for, for Japan, it will start on my birthday, March 19th, 2022. And this Pikachu will be available for for a year up until 2023 but of course the global event will be happening in May on Tuesday May 3rd to Sunday May 8th and of course you'll also be able to to get flying Pikachu. And there's also a special ticketed event that will take place in Okinawa only from May 7th to May 8th. And as of this recording, we don't know what will be in this event. And of course, also announced Niantic has announced their early 2022 roadmap, which of course they're trying to get things back to the way it was before the pandemic struck, such as real world social interaction, exercise and exploration. Continuing global events with Pokemon Tour, as I mentioned earlier in this video, Battle League improvements, postcard updates, seasonal updates, which of course from Trainer Tips' video mentioning that the the season will be much shorter and of course Community Day updates, which of course Bulbasaur Community Day Classic in January was just an experiment and of course Niantic will continue to to improve community day events in the future and of course Safari Zone has been announced in Seville, Spain which will be happening from May 13th to May 15th and details as of this recording on which Pokemon will be available and what Shinies will be available to catch and of course if anyone will be able to globally participate without going to Seville are not available as of this recording. One more thing, this weekend I'll be making the next Pokemon Go Play video talking about Johto Tour and also 
live streaming it over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash lewadventures. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask, whether it's double masking, KN95, or N95 mask in public indoor settings, or in crowded outdoor spaces. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, or use hand sanitizer that's provided to you in public. Most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted, and of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.